Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What is the max concurrent executables property on a package level? So let's go to the SSDT or bids and take a look where exactly this property is. So as it is on package level, so we are in the control flow pen right now. I'm going to right click and go to the properties. And what we see here, we see max concurrent executables. And by default, the value is set to minus one. What does that mean to us? So if you have multiple tasks that can be data flow task that can be execute SQL task or mix of them this property defines how many of them can run in parallel when it is set to the minus one the, it, the total executables or task it will run in parallel is the total number of CPUs you have on your machine plus two so that's that's how many it can run in my case I have four of them so I can run six of tasks uh, tasks uh, in a parallel if uh, we want to change this property we we have the option to change this property to any number what we like uh, we can change to two number of two or three so this will uh, tells us uh, like okay we want to run uh, three of them in parallel uh, if uh, hyper threading is enabled on your machine uh, then uh, the number of processor will be the number of logical cpus uh, plus two that's how it will work and uh, as i have six of them right now and I have set the property to three. So three of them will be running in parallel and then the next three will be, uh, or um, at, the, at the moment there will be three uh, executable, they will run in parallel. So let's take a look. If I have these three and they will uh, start first, uh, there is no um, sequence here. So any of three can start anytime. So that, that's not going to happen like, okay, run these three first and then uh, run these three first. Uh, yes, you can do it. You put this one in this container and then uh, connect uh, with this one. So you can uh, make a sequence of uh, full, uh, for, for these uh, tasks. Uh, so th then uh, they will be able to run in, uh, uh, in sequence. But right now they are all not connected. That means uh, any of them can uh, start. So let's suppose uh, these three will start. Once, uh, if any of them will finish, uh, let's say this one is completed, then the next will start from any any of th these trees. So at the moment, there will be three executables uh, or tasks they will be running in parallel. Thanks very much for watching this video, and I will see you in next video.